Hi, it's Gail here from RaisingNonverbalChildren.com here on day 19 of the 30 day Agoski video challenge where I'm summing up something I learned from the Agoski conference every day for the month of May. Today I'm continuing on my thoughts from Gina Wilson Burns paper, um, actually not the one that she presented at Agoski but one that she presented a few years ago. And it's the, the top, what I want to talk about today is the least dangerous assumption. Now I've heard this used before this term and what it really refers to is our expectations that we have for people and especially for children who are nonverbal or children who have severe physical disabilities so often we set our expectations low we assume they can't achieve we assume that because they can't demonstrate what they know that they don't know and this is a really dangerous assumption to make. What if they can communicate? We just haven't shown them a way they can do it. What if they have so much potential? They do have so much potential. What if we are denying them by our low expectations the ability to communicate and to participate in their communities? To me, this is a really important thing to talk about. What are we expecting? How do our current ways of working support that communication and that expectation that we have for them? In Max's case, when he went to Max Gina's son, when he went to a segregated early intervention centre with other children who are largely non-mobile and non-verbal, he wasn't able to learn from those children. So there was just a group of children who weren't able to interact with each other because they needed the support from their peers to be able to interact with them. People who, children who were verbal and were mobile. What's your expectations? Are they too low? Are you scared to dream big? Are you scared to set your expectations high? I'd really love to have a conversation about expectations. And if you're a therapist watching this, what are your expectations for your clients? I'd really love to have a discussion on this, so please leave me a comment, uh, join the discussion, and um, really looking forward to engaging with you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.